Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well and taking care of yourselves in these crazy times. Uh, so today's reading is going to be pretty straightforward and hopefully fairly quick. Um, that's what I'm anticipating anyway. We are asking, is your person into you really? Are the feelings mutual or not? Are they truly interested in you or not? Um, so this is going to be a very to the point reading. Uh, we've got three piles of cards to choose from. Group number one is the Anubis statue. Group number two is the Buddha statue. And group number three is the candle. The timestamps for each pile of cards will be in the pinned comment down below, so you can head on down there if you already know which one you want to choose. Um, while you are making your choices, I just have a couple things I want to say. As usual, all of my links are in the description box if you're interested in checking out my Etsy store or my website to purchase a private reading from me. Those are down there. Check those out if you want. Um, also, Pretty exciting news. We recently reached 20,000 subscribers here on the channel. And so to celebrate that, I am doing a little giveaway for you guys. This is the Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This is a 44 card Oracle deck with a pretty extensive guidebook that comes with it. Um, this is a deck that I purchased for myself some time ago, and um, I got it because I thought the artwork was really interesting, and I had seen some other people using it uh, here on YouTube as well. Um, so I was really interested in it, but then when I got it, I found that I just wasn't able to connect with it um, that well. And so I really haven't used it very much, and I've had it for a while now. Um, lately, I have been feeling like I need to give it to somebody, and I know there's a lot of you uh, who watch these videos who are interested in learning tarot and oracle cards or in the process of learning them who would probably be able to make much better use of this deck than I have been. So, if you want to enter to win this deck, all you have to do is go to my Instagram, which will be linked down below, or you can just search me. It is at Serpentine Daughter, just like it's spelled here. Go to my Instagram. There will be a post on there, a picture of this deck, this box of cards. Um, what you need to do is just comment on that post telling me what your favorite tarot card is. And that's all you have to do to enter. You don't even have to follow me if you don't want to. Um, the winner will be chosen randomly on April 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the winner will be DM'd. I will DM whoever that person is and ask for a mailing address. And that's it. Simple. So if you want to enter, head on over there. The post should be up by the time this video goes live. All right. With all of that said, we are going to get into this reading. So, group number one, the Anubis statue. Let's find out if your person is into you, really. Okay. So, we have here the Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles, the Empress, the Oracle cards. We've got Big Happy Changes, Romance, okay, Religious Factors, Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life, and we have these two cards, which both have... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This one says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. This one, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay, so give me a second here. Um, I mean, <laughs> it, it's pretty clear to me just right off the bat that uh, this person, whoever it is you're thinking of, uh, definitely does seem to have 
feelings for you. I mean, we have the romance card showing up here. This card is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we also have the Empress, which to me is a card that signifies a lot of uh, attraction, that you have a lot of appeal to this person. Uh, this is kind of showing me like how they see you in a way. And, you know, gender is irrelevant. This is generally a more feminine energy, but don't don't get hung up on those little details. Um, this is saying whoever it is you're thinking about sees you as a highly intelligent, highly capable, um, very attractive, appealing individual. You are someone who you know what you want, you know how to get what you want. You are, you're powerful. You're powerful in their mind. And I feel like this person, maybe to some extent, puts you up on a pedestal a little bit or idolizes you a little bit. I definitely get a lot of admiration and respect, okay? The Page of Wands, kind of similar. This is passion, enthusiasm, optimism. Uh, wands tend to have kind of sexual undertones, so this is talking to me about physical chemistry, physical attraction as well. Um, I'm also just getting like a desire for closeness here, a desire that this person has to be near you, to be closer to you, to just have a good time, have fun with you. But it's not just, uh, it, it's not just a desire to have fun. There's more to it than that. Um, the Four of Pentacles, this is stability, security. Uh, in the relationship context, most of the Pentacles cards tend to imply commitment or desire for commitment. Um, and the Four of Pentacles in particular is usually about holding on to something, not wanting to let something go. Uh, it can indicate control or a desire to control a situation, but in this case, I really just see this person like wanting to hold on to this connection, wanting to hold on to you because they see a lot in you. They see a lot of beautiful things in you. Um, we have the Religious Factors card. This card's kind of interesting. Typically, when it shows up, it suggests to me that uh, the person we're talking about feels a pretty strong connection to you, like a spiritual connection. Uh, whether there truly is a spiritual connection between the two of you, I can't really say, just given what these cards are showing me, but it's very possible. Um, but whatever the case, this person is feeling very strongly attached to you. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Uh, kind of self-explanatory as well. This is saying to me this person is feeling very, very optimistic about your connection, about your relationship. They see a lot of potential within you and within this relationship. Potential for things to go far. Potential for things to be really good between the two of you. Big happy changes. Kind of similar. I feel like this person is wanting change. This person is wanting movement here, wanting forward movement. Um, whether, I, I feel for some of you, there has been some difficulty in this connection in the, in the past. Um, whether there has or hasn't been though, this card still is applicable. It's showing me whether you've had issues with this person or whether this is just something that hasn't really had the opportunity yet to go anywhere, this person is just wanting some positive change. This one, this person is wanting to move things into a more positive direction. Uh, these final two oracle cards, um, these are from the Lover's Oracle deck. I don't interpret these cards super literally. I usually just pay attention to what words, phrases, ideas uh, stand out to me the most out of these descriptions. Um, this one, we have this idea of acceptance and love, unconditional love, accepting one another as you are. Um, this suggests to me that the person you're thinking of, for the most part, I feel like this person is very accepting of who you are, uh, just as, as a person, um, at your most basic level. Like, this, this person... This person has an appreciation of you that goes deep, okay? Um, this is not just appreciation for the way that you look. This is not just appreciation for what you can offer them or what you do for them. 
This is appreciation of you as a person, as a human being. Um, this card, the past is behind you, release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. This is actually uh, really going along with this card, Big Happy Changes and the Stay Optimistic card. Um, again, this is talking to me about potential. This is talking to me about again, whether you have or have not had any kind of conflict with this person, any difficulty in this relationship, this person is just wanting to move forward. This person's wanting to move things forward with you and see what happens. You know, try to try to seize all of this potential that they are seeing in this connection. Does that make sense? Um, so I would say, Yes, it's it's pretty clear to me that this person is into you, really. Um, so, like I said, these are just going to be short readings. Um, and so I am going to leave it at that. I hope that this resonated with you guys. I hope it was interesting. Um, these are just general, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, group two. Let's find out if your person is into you really. So, first of all, oh, okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. We have the moon. Your oracle cards, we've got peaceful resolution. We've got let go. Pay attention to the red flags. Let go of control issues. And these last two cards, we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And this one, which says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay. So, um, I think most of you probably already know what I'm about to say. Um, this is not this is not promising okay um let me move this curtain because i feel like there's a glare on these cards okay so um right away ten of swords this is a card that generally speaking relates to um, heartache, grief, betrayal, sadness. Um, this is some sort of painful, difficult ending or loss. The moon card, this is associated with deception, illusions. Um, I feel, I feel that many of you are hoping that this person is interested in you you're wanting for this person to be interested in you but i just i feel that they haven't they haven't really been giving you anything like they haven't they haven't really been reciprocating uh communication they haven't been reciprocating efforts that you've been trying to put into this connection um some of you have been really trying to make something work with this individual but they're just they're not giving you anything back or they're just giving you crumbs in return um, we have two cards here that relate to release, letting go, let go, let go. Um, unfortunately, I really don't feel that this person is all that interested in you. Um, 
And so these cards are kind of suggesting that you release this person, that you try to move forward from this person. Um, pay attention to the red flags. This, this card plus the moon card plus this one, um, which talks about projection, uh, these three cards suggest to me that you may be looking for signs or indications of interest where there really are none. Um, or you may be reading into this person's actions or words more than is necessary. Okay, let me put it this way. I feel like some of you are kind of reaching, looking for meaning that's looking for meaning in your interactions with this person that isn't really there. Some of you, I feel, are kind of deluding yourselves, trying to make yourself make yourselves believe that this person is interested in you. But I feel like deep down, you know that if they truly were, they would be making more of an effort. Um, the Page of Cups is kind of interesting here because this card typically would imply some level of romantic interest. Um, this card can represent like puppy love or a crush, but given all of these other cards that came out along with it, I cannot in good conscience say, yes, this person is really into you because I just don't see that they are. Um, they they may be slightly. They may have some slight interest. They might be attracted to you to some degree, but it's not enough to make them really. It's it's just it's not enough. It's just not enough. Um, we have this this card, Peaceful Resolution. This is talking about a resolution, obviously. A resolution would be an ending, something coming to, uh, coming to a close, completion of something. Um, and this card, Trust, this is talking about acceptance, acceptance and transformation. Um, what I'm getting here is that I think, okay, what these cards are asking you to do here is to, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without upsetting people. I cannot, I mean, I already know there's going to be some, like, angry comments from people who chose this group, but whatever. Um, they're asking you to look at this whole situation with this person from a new perspective. You need to get grounded. You need to look at this from a more practical point of view. Um, stop idealizing this person. Stop romanticizing this person and romanticizing their actions, their words towards you. Because I just feel like if this person is not giving you what you want, what you need right now, it's just, it's not worth holding on to, okay? Even if they do have some level of interest in you, it's not, like I said, it's not enough to make this worth holding on to right now, at least for right now. Um, and so these cards are asking you to accept that. Accept that you know, this person has really decided the fate of this connection for now. Um, and they've done that by not investing in you, by not giving you anything in, back in return. Um, and what you're being asked to do is to just let go and move forward. Because you deserve someone who is going to put an effort into you. You deserve someone who is going to try. Um, and I just don't see that this person is trying very hard. 
You deserve someone who is sure about you. You deserve someone who is going to choose you over anyone else. And I just don't see this person doing that. So, um, I'm going to have to say that the answer to this question is a no for most of you. Um, and even for the number of you where technically this is a yes, I still don't, I still don't feel like this is warranting, like, continued investment. Does that make sense? Um, so, those are really all the messages that I am getting for you, group two, at the moment. Um, I know this probably isn't what some of you were hoping to hear, but that is the message that I have been given for you guys today. This is general. If it doesn't resonate with your situation, then it doesn't apply to you. Don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit. Uh, so, you know, if, if this doesn't sound like you and your situation, then don't even worry about it. It's not for you. Um, Thank you for joining me, though. I really appreciate it, and I hope I see you next time, and hopefully in the next reading, uh, we will have some better news for you. Sorry, guys. Um, take care of yourselves, though. I, I really appreciate all of you, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. All right. Lastly, we have group number three. Group three, is your person into you really? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, the Transformation, which is death in uh, traditional, more traditional decks. Your Oracle cards, we've got Reconsider, we've got Forgiveness, Codependency, Trust, Ooh. and twin flames and sexual union okay so this is interesting guys um right away knight of wands this is passion excitement sexuality we've got more sexual energy with the sexual union card um attraction a lot of physical interest physical chemistry the two of cups this is a card that typically is about unions partnerships um this is overall a very, very loving, positive energy. Um, it does, it, it definitely seems to me like this person you're asking about is very, very into you. Uh, group three, almost, it's, it's interesting because it almost feels like this is an obsessive kind of thing. Uh, and I kind of get that from the codependency card. I kind of get that from the twin flame card. I kind of get it from the sexual union card. Um, I feel... I feel like a lot has happened between you and this person. Um, I mean, with the twin flame card being here, obviously this is saying, you know, some of you very well could be twin flames with this person you're thinking of. Others of you, maybe not. Um, but I definitely get that you have a very strong, very intense connection to this person, and I'm getting a lot of push-pull energy that there has been in the past, maybe even still now. Um, I'm getting that there have been endings in this connection and new beginnings in this connection. There have been cycles, a lot of cycles going on. Um, reconsider and forgiveness. These two cards are really going together for me. Um, I feel as though for most of you, you and your person have had periods where you've been in separation. Um, you've had periods where maybe you washed your hands of one another and maybe you said, I am not going back to that person. I'm not getting involved with that person again. But then somehow you reconnected and reconciled and you know moved forward with each other um the trust card this is a card that shows up a lot in situations where there's some sort of very intense soul level connection going on like a twin flame relationship um the situation is calling for you to have faith these types of connections 
typically serve a purpose and that purpose is to help us to grow as people to help us along our spiritual journey towards you know being our best selves that we can possibly be um and these are situations that usually call for us to surrender and and have faith that things will work out the way that they're meant to um and and to you know try not to control these situations too much or exert too much control over these kinds of situations. Um, I feel like this is really one of those scenarios. Um, I feel that this person definitely, definitely is interested in you. They definitely have strong feelings for you. Um, but it's kind of conflicted. I feel this conflicted energy here as well. I don't know that this is the most healthy or functional connection um, just because of this in and out push pull kind of nature cyclical kind of nature and and that this could be uh, uh, energy that was going on in the past this could be energy that you and this person have moved out of now but for a lot of you, I feel like this is, this has just been the nature of your relationship with this person, like pretty much all along. Um, they are certainly into you. There is potential, I feel, for things to for things to settle down between the two of you but i feel like for most of you you guys are not yet at that point you have not yet progressed enough along your own individual journeys to reach that point where you can be in alignment and in unison and harmony with each other there is still some disconnect there's your energies are not aligned with each other properly and that's why there's all of this push pull cyclical stuff going on mm, guys this is this is a lot <laughs> and i'm kind of i'm like i want to say for some reason i want to say i'm sorry because this seems like it has not been an easy road. Seems like it has been very difficult, very tiring, and it's like it just never ends. Um, but yeah, the short answer to this question is definitely a yes. Now, does that mean that this is something that you really should be investing a lot of your time and energy into right now? Maybe, maybe not. Um, really depends on your individual situation. But for a lot of you, I feel like, like I said, uh, for a lot of you, I feel like you still have a lot of work to do by yourself, by yourselves, both of you, you and your person. Um, before you're going to be able to come together and have like a, a really functional, uh, lasting relationship with each other. Okay. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. Group three, um, I hope that you guys get some rest and I hope that, uh, I hope that things improve between you and your person. It may take some time, but I, f I see a lot of potential for that. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that it was interesting. Um, these are just general readings. So take what applies to you, you and your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, There was something else I was going to say and I forgot what it was. So anyway, yeah. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye.